A salon business is part of the most interesting and, and nice business to start. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're fine. I hope you are pushing with the year well. Welcome to my channel. My name is Faith. If you're new here, subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, Karibu Sana. In today's video, we are going to be talking about matters business. Yeah, so today's topic is expert tips to start off your salon on the right foot. Yeah, so there are some tips that I have for you guys which you can use to start off. So number one, create a salon business plan. Writing a business plan is the first step of any business. This provides with a clear objective it outlines how you will achieve the objective and gives you a good idea on what you need to do to be successful so it's very crucial when you're beginning you write a business plan you plan ahead and know what what you need and how you need to start off your business what you need what are the things that you need to have and how you want to arrange your business yeah so number two get a license yeah you don't need you don't want a, a place or a scenario where you are hoping you have opened your salon you have clients sitting and they are getting their services and all of a sudden you, you see the city council guys they come and chase you your customers away or they they get you and arrest you so it, it doesn't paint a good picture so ensure that you are complying with the state laws and this will help you not to stop operating in future and getting arrested by the government officials or having to close it definitely yeah it's very important for you to have a license so number three find a way to make your salon unique yeah, you need to be a bit unique look for what you normally do best look for what if it is plating are you best at this plating or are you are you are you best at braiding are you best at doing other services so look for what you are best at and identify yourself with that niche and people will come to your salon because of that niche that you have yeah, so people, I hear people say, I got that salon because I get my braids well done. I got that salon because I get blood dried well. Yeah, so identify your niche and go with it. Go your, with your niche and perfect and be the best in, in that niche. Yes, so if it is braiding, if it is blood drying, if it is doing massage if it is yeah whatever you are good at so specialize in that and uh, do what you are best oh. talk to distributors yeah you need furniture you need mirrors you need washing washing and drying stations you need shampoo you need conditioner you need brushes you need combs you need so much to start off so talk to distributors and uh, compare different distributors and their prices and then from there you get the best you get quality and if possible you get the cheap one yeah so when you are looking for a distributor put in mind their pricing and also if they offer quality products yeah so number five develop a strong or a solid client base yeah you need to set a salon whereby people will come uh will come back you for you to get returning customers so if you do your services well and you perfect everything that you are doing do it to perfection that tomorrow that client will come back and they will even go and talk to their friends and refer customers or clients to you so it's very important for you to develop a solid client base yeah 
So let the client be your priority and their experience to be the best in order for them to form you a reliable, to become a reliable client, a reliable customer who can come back another day and who can always advertise you. Okay, yeah. So number six is choose the right location to open your salon. Yeah, you need a physical space. So it should be in a well-populated area and easily accessible by car or public transportation. Yeah, so don't go there in deep, deep, deep bushes or in the, in the what, what do you call it, in the estates where you cannot even get there or in the ghetto where you cannot get via even a vehicle or when you are walking you are so scared so get a location which is easily accessible and also the area should be highly populated if you make it convenient for clients to visit your salon then you will have more customers hence you will grow yeah and we start a business to grow we start a business to expand and get profits and grow every and every and every single day yeah so it's very important tip number seven hire a designer yeah so you hire a designer a designer of designing your shop so you hire somebody who has the skills to make sure that your shop is nicely uh, is it painted? It has the right wordings, the right names, the, the, it is appealing enough. Yeah, so when you are looking for uh, for a designer, look for somebody who is experienced in this field and who will give you quality also. So don't just pick anybody. So look for somebody who is good at their work because the first sight of your your salon when somebody sees it from outside it can appeal them to come to to inside and to become the clients that you are looking for so look for somebody to brand your shop very well so number eight focus on your staff yeah take time and train your staff train them uh if they are good at what they do Maybe if they are good at plating and everything else, then train them how you, are, you want your business to be run. Train them how to handle your clients. Train them etiquette. Train them that to take their, their, this business at their home and to grow together with you. So train them to, to always put your client or your customers as their priority and put this salon to be the best that they can put it yeah so this one will, will at least help you that you, your clients will be happy because uh your workers or your staff are the ones who are going to be interacting direct with the clients so if they're interacting direct with the client they should know how to handle the client they should know what to do best in their knowledge and what how to express themselves to the clients yeah so in number nine think about your clients yeah so think about your clients the, the number eight was focus on your staff you train them take time to train them thoroughly so number nine is you think about your clients as you start out, gather feedback from your clients about what they like or dislike about your your salon. Don't leave stones untouched and even entertain those those people or those clients who talk too much, those who talk something some things which looks like nonsense and pick out the what they are saying and you pick out uh, the advice that they are giving you. So Try to input whatever they tell you. If they tell you we need these services done this way or this staff did not do their work well, try to investigate. Try to know what they are really saying and try to be accurate and even to follow up so that the clients can feel that their voices are heard. And 
try to correct yeah so if you do all this then the client will be happy so in business the client is always right even if you you at your, your side you think they are wrong but when they are speaking don't show them that it is they are not right they are always right and they they should be treated well because they are the ones who are keeping you working and who are keeping you moving so tip number 10 charge what you are worth consider your skills and training and determine a price based on what on that and not what others are charging in your area if you are good at what you do people will pay so people at the end of the day they are going to pay for what you offer so if you know you offer good services Always be focused and price it depending on what you offer. It doesn't matter what people are offering in your area. Okay, I know some people will say, oh, that salon is expensive. But once you get there and get the services, you'll, you'll, you are going to understand where they, they charge the way they are charging. So don't charge expensive and fail to deliver. Don't charge expensive and deliver forogasha is it forogasha deliver not making the clients happy so make sure if you are doing or if you are charging you charge what you are worth what you know you can do if you can play it very good if you can offer very nice services then charge according to that don't determine your charges with whatever other people in your area are charging yeah so guys thank you very much for staying up to this point uh i know you've got one or two points so practice them and let's meet in another interesting video always comment below like share and tell me what you want me to talk about and follow me in other social medias uh my name is cafe q small letter q on instagram i'm faith Ndenya or faith bernard on my facebook so you follow me i'll follow back yeah so thank you very much for being part of this family i appreciate you i appreciate every every subscriber and guys i love you so much